All right, what is up everybody? So today we are going through Isle of Lost Skulls in our updated quest solo tutorials. As always, we're going to be taking a while. We're going to be stopping, we're going to be talking about spawns, where they are, where you don't want to be, what triggers the spawns, all that fun stuff. So if you're just having trouble with one or two levels, I got timestamps down below so you don't have to listen to me ramble for 45 minutes. Um, and of course, you guys know the game. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys so much. Without much further ado, I'm going to switch you over to POV, and we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. Let's go ahead and start. Let's go! Alright guys, first act. What do we do? We're stuck in a cage. How do we get out of this cage? This is, this is, we gotta use our brains. This is gonna be rough. We gotta look around. Here's a stool. Okay. Just though, if you didn't know that. Maybe this isn't the video for you. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, so starting out, we got these two guys right here. Dumb and Dumber. Once you take these guys out, you're gonna get a guy over here. And half a second later, you're gonna get his buddy right over there. So, when it comes to blocking, blocking is kind of iffy. I like to have my swords or brooms or whatever I'm blocking with, if I have two anyway, I like to keep them crossed and I like to keep them far, far away from me because you don't want their sword getting anywhere close to you. If the game loses a couple frames, their sword will start going through, it'll hit you, it's going to hurt, it's going to be a bad day, and you don't want your hilt or your handle <coughs> anywhere near it. Because if they hit the handle, they will still do damage. So, and oftentimes they'll they'll kind of stack up on you. This is only two, but normally you get three, four sometimes. And you don't want to, if especially if they're miss not not synced up. You don't want to swing your swords together. You want to block with one at all times, and do damage with your other sword, and then grab swords as they drop them. Because if you swing both swords you can just about guarantee that one of them is going to swing as soon as you do and take you out so moving up we got this room we got these two guys once you take them out you're going to get our buddy here and then we're going to get another buddy back here so don't let this guy sneak up on you because that'd be a bad day all right last but certainly not least we got fred over here in the corner take him out get you a couple swords and we're gonna move up. All right, we got four right here. Try and get these two before these two guys get up on you. That way you don't have like four, you know, just like piled up on you. So this room right here can be a little fun, a little daunting. Frying pans right there. You got a bunch, use them. They are so, so OP and they're so nice. So I like to run in, grab a couple frying pans, run over here, pop these guys. And then fall back while these bottle spawner bottle throwers are spawning. Take out this guy. Don't let these guys hit you. Roll over here. Take out this other one. And then we're going to run over here. Once you come around the corner, they're all going to start throwing at you. So cover your face. These things give good cover. So keep your face covered. Run up. Bop, bop, bop. Once you take them out, you're going to get three more bottlers over here. And then two sword guys behind you. So you're going to want to run over here really fast and get these guys and then take out these two. Alright. You want to take some frying pans with you. These, like I said, these things are so OP. So, going through this door, these will regen. Like, it, they get five hits, but if you use four and it's got one hit left till it breaks and you take it through that door, it'll get fixed and you'll have five hits again. So, throw one on your back, one in each hand, and you're good. Pirate Banquet. Alright. Coming down here. We got these guys here. We're gonna take them out. And once you do, you got three more, and they're kind of random, so you may want to back into a corner so nothing can spawn right behind you. And then take them out. Just always have something in front of your face. And I like to use the same pan. I don't like to go back and forth and back and forth because then both my pans are gonna break at the same time, and I'm gonna be in a bit of a situation. So I just keep hitting with the right one until it breaks. And then I get my other frying pan, this guy. Boom, you can bat those out of the sky. Run over here, hit them. Hit this guy, and as long as you, like, 
pretty much like the um, fire imps and the slow jumbo bots. As long as you're strafing back and forth, they they really can't hurt you. Just just don't do something dumb and get yourself hit. <laughs> uh, but these are not like fireballs or the orbs in Jumbotron. If they throw a bottle at you and you kill them after they throw the bottle and it still hits you, you will die. So, all right, let's take these guys out. Once we take these guys out, we are going to get another spawn up there, some more bottlers. So we're just going to work our way over here. Always having something in front of our face. That's why frying pans are so good, because they're so big. They, they cover up so much space. All right, so once you get that done, you know, you can probably grab you some jugs or something, take these guys out. That's the, the one thing about this quest is everything breaks. So you can't just fall back and have everything come to you like in the other quests. So you have to move, have to keep moving. And I get so scared. Every time something swings at me, I'm so scared because if the game lags for a split second, their sword goes through, you die. This is why this is my least favorite one to solo. But, coming up here, we're going to get a few of these guys. I'm going to run up here. I'm going to grab this jug right here, hurl it up there, do absolutely nothing. And then I'm just going to get both my frying pans. Run up here. Watch out for that guy. Just keep moving. Once you take out the two, you're going to get a third one, so... Alright, moving up. I got one jug from this guy. I like to run over here, grab this jug. Hurl it, get you a couple swords. And then just run over here and bonk them. Easy, right? Easy. Okay. Let's go. This room is fun. Um, we're going to go safer route. So basically, I'm not going to go all in like I like to do, but show you the easiest way to do this. I like to use the jugs. They're just so much fun. I like to run in, throw that at that guy, miss that guy, and then we're just gonna fall back. We're, gonna, we're just gonna let him come to us, you know? You're the cool kid. They wanna be around you. They'll follow. If memory serves me correctly, they get stuck. No, I was wrong. All right, so. Again. You get him coming over here, and you can you can um, you know deal with them in small numbers rather than taking on the whole room at once. So now we got two juggers up top. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna run across. I'm gonna hit these guys just nonstop. Don't stop moving because these juggers will hit you. Okay. Now we're going to go up and take care of the juggers. Once we take care of the juggers, we're going to get quite a bit of stuff spawning on us, so you want to be ready for them. So one, then everything spawns, and then you have all these guys spawning on you. So a good place you could be is land over here and run back around the back here. But like I said, just use one to block everything and use the other to do damage. It's hard to fall back out of this room because they all spawn right here. All right, so now we got a bunch of stuff up here. They're all gonna come over to where we are. They're gonna try and bunch up right on top of us and they're right here. So we got lots of rum jugs over here. This is great. So we're just gonna come over here. We're gonna grab some rum jugs. We're gonna try not to kill ourselves with said rum jugs though. It, it does happen. I don't know that I can get up there. There we go, okay. So, we're just going to start bombarding this floor. That's going to do damage. But you do have to be careful because if you hit them in just the wrong spot, you're going to drop some over here. So, you may want to throw some a little more towards the edge. That way they get knocked back this way. Got a few there. Do this a few times. You can hear a lot of death up there. And then it's really not so bad. Whatever, we're just going to go this way. I don't even care anymore. Alright, come over here, guys. Just bunch up on me. I think I can... Oh, you can see him right there. Okay, so. Boom. 
and you're done. Easy. Easy, man. That's the easy way to do it anyway. Just, just don't be afraid. You got this. I'm going to grab some swords to go through the next level. Because the next one's going to be so much fun. Alright. Let's go. High seas. That guy right there. He's a problem. We don't like him. Once you take out two of these guys, you're going to get some bottlers and juggers up here behind you. You got to be wary of that. So... What you can do is like I do, just kind of stand here, let these guys work their way over here. Block with the left, swing with the right, you know, or vice versa. Don't get hit with the bottle. Alright. So now we got these guys up top. Yo, man, this is just such a bad spot to be in. <laughs> it's really difficult to do these slow. You just, you kind of have to always be moving fast, you know? So it's going to take a little bit of practice, but with this quest, you can reset each act if you die. So that helps out a lot. And you can get at least a little bit of practice in. So once you take them out, you're going to get these guys. I guess we got these guys over here. You don't want to get cannoned. So I am going to not get hit by you. I want to run over to this cannon and take out this guy on the left because the right cannon cannot hit me over here. All right, and then I'm going to take him out because I was actually thinking about something else and completely forgot. All right, once you take them out, we're going to start getting some spawns. You don't want to lower the bridge. Just watch them. Take your shot. Move around. Keep moving. Don't don't stop and stay in one spot too long. Okay, so that's three. Now we're going to drop the bridge. This is where it's going to get a little bit rough. It's going to start getting hectic. We may want to start lowering ourselves down below the, uh, the cannon here so we don't get hit. Take a deep breath. It's all going down. Take out the second wave. And boom, we got these guys. I like to just take a shot and then just kind of bounce all over the place. Okay, so the jugger over there usually cannot hit you over here. He usually hits this sail right here. That doesn't mean he can't. It just means usually he doesn't. He's, he's moving a lot further than he normally does. He's moving down. Okay, so now he's getting over here. He's getting to be a problem. At this point, I would just move over. Just don't let him hit you. You know the game, you know the game. Alright. Now comes the fun part, port plunder. Okay, so, we got our flintlocks. This right here is the best weapon in this quest. If you are good with this thing, you're going to do fine. So you may want to go to a custom room, you know, get you a handful of these, get on some target practice, get some practice in with these. They have recently made the hitboxes for their heads a lot bigger, so headshots are a lot easier, so one shot, one kill, so much easier. But flintlocks, man, I'm telling you, is the way to go. Port Plunder. Okie dokie. Alright, Port Plunder. We got our flintlocks. Now these guys, like I said, one shot, one kill makes things so much easier. You can hide behind these barrels. Um, I'm kind of tall. It's kind of hard for me, but most people can hide behind it pretty fine. Like I said, hit them in the head. One shot, you don't have to worry about them. All these guys are aggroed now. They're going to come over here. They're going to be mad at me. I'm going to just kind of poke my head out and take a shot. If you hear that rattle sound like they're getting ready to fire, don't stick your head out there. Let them shoot, then stick your head out. Once you do that, you're going to move up. We're going to get a spawn up here. I like to hide behind these boxes, kind of crouch down. I'm just kind of pop up. Pop. All right. So now once we walk up here, we're going to get a bunch more um, gunners up here. I like to hide behind these crates right here. So boom, boom, boom. I failed that reload. Alright, take this guy out because he can hit you a little bit easier than this other guy. Once you take this one out, you're going to get these guys. And you don't want these. 
getting close. Once you take them out, you're going to get another spawn on up here. And watch out for the jugger because he can apparently get you back here. Like that! What is that? Okay. Moving up. We got a jugger up here. A couple gunners down there. I'm more worried about the jugger than the gunner, so I'm going to take him out. Here comes the gunners. They're upset. Now, we kind of spawned everything. It's all aggroed. It's coming this way. So you may not want to hop out and just kind of poke your head out and take them out as they come through this little alleyway. Because, you know, you don't want to get sniped. Boom. I think all we got is this gunner right here. He's not very bright anyway, so... Pop. All right. So moving up into actual port plunder. This one's kind of a little bit difficult, so if you're nervous, stock up on guns. Don't feel free to... You know, don't feel free. Feel free to fall back if you're not confident in it. It's not a big deal. It's all about getting there, period. So Get you a few extra guns. Going to go ahead and open the pad. Um, normally what I do is I run up and I hide behind these barrels, but it's, it's going to get real hectic real fast because one's going to spawn up on this rooftop, and they're kind of hard. So what you can do is kind of fall back here, stick your head out, and just take a shot. And miss. As, as big and open as these bars are, they can't shoot through them, so you can, like, just kind of stand here and, you know, pop them. Alright. See? Easy. Just let them work their way to you, man. Like I said, you're the popular kid. They all want to be around you. This is where practicing those headshots come in handy. Saves so many bullets. If you keep running out of guns because you keep getting, you know, torso shots or whatever, it's gonna make it a lot harder. So just just practice headshots. Then we got this guy up here. He's kind of a he's kind of a worrisome person, so we wanna get rid of him. We're gonna scoot up, we're gonna let the spawns take place, and then we're gonna fall back a little bit because we're gonna have sword guys now. And there is gonna be a gunner on that back area there he can shoot you and then the jugger can hit right up here so you don't want to be hiding like behind that corner or anything like that just fall back let the sword guys come to you take them out easy enough got some more coming just come on guys bro you run my streak. Threw off my groove. All right. So, I think we got one more. We got one more out there. Anyway, that's why I said be worried about this guy. If you can hit him from here, take him out. Now I'm gonna scoot up a little bit, and I'm gonna get this jugger. I really don't like the jugger. And we knocked him off. Great. So coming over here is a pretty decent way to go about things, simply because you got the gunner over here. You can take him out pretty easily. You got this one up here, and then the other two are on the other side over there. They can't see you. Pretty easy. Once you take out the last one, you're going to get a couple guys to spawn in this alley. Once you take out one of them, you're going to get three more right here in the open of everything. So you're going to want to be ready. I want to take him out. Now I just got to take out this last guy right here. Hi, bud. Alright, so now these guys respond in. Take him out. We got more. Alright, they're all over here. So. Take them out, one by one. Take your time. Don't get too ahead of yourself. It's not a big deal. They can't... They're pretty stupid, so. We are now going to head into Gibbet Jungle. That one's a fun one. So. Gibbet Jungle. Um, actually, well, nah. I was going to say you could grab jugs and they were to make this a little bit faster, but I, I think it would be better to have 
spare guns, so. Throw these back at him. Don't, don't, don't blow yourself up. That'd be embarrassing. All right. So, once we jump down here, we're gonna get a bottler over here, we're gonna get a bottler over here. Those are our concerns. Then we're gonna have a couple sword guys coming our way. Once we take out a few of them, we're gonna get some gunners on the back row. And you can hop back up here. So, you know, if this really scares you, I would hop down, take out the bottlers as quick as you can, start chunking these guns back up here, hop up here, and then let everything kind of funnel to you. Once it's all right down here below you, you can kind of just pop your head out. It wouldn't be a big deal. But I don't want to do that. So much work, so much time. So I'm just going to hop down here, and we're going to get started. So I like this guy right here because he's really close. I want to take him out, at least hit him. And they throw before they hit the ground, so you're going to want to take them out. Hiding over in this corner where these guys can't shoot me. They're going to start working their way over here. Make sure you always have a gun. Here's a sword. You're going to want a sword because we're going to get a lot of sword guys spawn over here in just a second. So we're going to take out a few of these guys. Once we take out the last one here. There they are. My main concern with this wave is this jugger here. And then just don't let any of these guys shoot you. Shoot you hits you with their swords because it will hurt. Also, if you did not know, if you fire this off, you do not have a bullet, you do not have a spare hand. If you flip it, does a 180, it reloads itself. The more you know. Mind blown. Okay. So once we're going to start moving up, we're going to get a jugger and a bottler up top here. Take them out because they're a nuisance. It's hard to take on the whole level while they're sitting there just raining this crap down on you, you know? We're gonna take a step back. Do we have any more guns? We got we got guns everywhere in this level, so utilize them. Okay, got a couple cage guys. I don't want to deal with them, so I'm gonna hunk one of these at them. Oof. I missed. Alright. So this is why you gotta get guns with guns, because I keep missing and having to do all these weird things. But that's, like I said, that's the hardest part about this um, quest. You really, it's hard to just retreat because everything breaks. You can't just, you know, fall back into a corner and spam arrows at them. It's not gonna work. All right, so moving up, we are going to this. This next part's pretty difficult. I think that part's the worst of it. But the next part's pretty, pretty rough. So, want to stock up on guns again? I always forget one I, that I have one on my back. We're gonna start moving forward, and yeah, we're gonna get two guys spawn over here. Once you take them out, you're gonna get a bunch up here. If you're confident, there's a box of guns right there. I take these guys out and then just go to town on these. But if you're not confident in that. I will scoot out, spawn these guys, and then fall back. Take them out. Don't let them hit you. Remember to move. Once you take them out, you're going to get these guys. Just remember to fall back. Let them sit there for a second. And keep moving. I keep grabbing my gun all weird like. And missing. I can't hit anything. Wait until they take their shots. Pop out. And miss them nine times. Alright. I don't think this water kills you, but don't fall in the water and port plunder because you'll die. Alright. Falling down here. You're going to want to come over here around this rock here. Reason being, you're going to get these guys spawn and that's going to happen. So, take him out. And then, boom, like that. Once you take them out, you got this guy. Get him. Don't let him get you. And then you got another one up there. You don't really want to take this guy out just yet. Reason being, because once you do, 
you're gonna have one of these guys spawn right beside you so if you don't move up you won't aggro these guys stand right here you can take care of him he's gonna work his way around the corner then we're gonna take him out take him out and now we got a jugger over there and I hate the jugger so now we've aggroed him Woo! he almost got me Bro, I can't hit for nothing. Alright. I'm really garbage at this today. So, we're going to move up. We're going to spawn two people over yonder. And we're going to spawn two people back here. So, I like to take these guys out. Just kind of take a step back. These guys can't hit you. It's kind of a long shot. It's kind of hard to get. And I'm just not going to get it. So... Gonna okay, wait a second, we're gonna run up, gonna grab our guns. And miss every shot. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna come back and get these guys. Alright. So now that we have these guys, what you can do, these guys are pretty slow. You can just uh keep going, you know, just hop across the bridge. They're gonna miss you. And then once you're over here, you got a pretty decent spot to stand and shoot them but if you stand on these planks look at my gun here that's what happens when you stand on the planks so just know that and reload your guns too that was really rough but it's it works it's just there's really no good place to hide you just can't really fall back it's so difficult onto the caves oh oh I didn't have anything on my back okay we'll grab the torch let's go go story time I actually don't have any ghost stories. Should probably get some. Q boring 12 seconds before I get to more enemies. All right, here we go. These guys, they suck. So, you can let them come this way, kind of hide, let them work their way up to you, and then just pop them. Again, don't let them, don't let them hit you. They're, they're rough. And they can get bottles up in here, man. Um, another way you can do it is just go gung-ho, just run right into the room and deal with them head on. Okay. Now we got more. I grab this and we're going, we're going in, we're going in. Just move, keep strafing, don't stop, don't hit them. <laughs> Alright, so once you do all that, you got a couple of these guys running at you. So, I just like to throw the torch on the ground. Just throw it in the middle of the room, you got light. And then once this guy spawns, we got a couple jugs right over here for him. Alright. Wish you could holster this. That'd be cool. Alright, so moving up. We're gonna need a couple swords because they're gonna break. We're gonna get the two sword guys up here, but our main goal, our main priority, is this bottler over here because I don't want him hitting me with a bottle. So I'm gonna scoot up. I'm gonna keep this torch in front of my face at all times. I'm gonna try my best to stay out of his line of sight. Period. And I'm gonna walk over here and hit him through the floor. Because I'm cheap like that. Alright. Boom. Easy peasy. The bridge. Okay. Grab a couple shotties. Because that's totally a shoddy. Grab a couple flintlocks. Run over here. As soon as you crop across the hole here, you're going to get this guy spawning. And then you're going to get this guy spawned. So you're going to want to jump. John Wayne him and then boom hit him dodge the bottle 
always just be ready to move because you're going to have bottles coming at you nonstop. So. And don't fall through the bridge in the cave or in Gibbet Jungle because if you hit that rock in Gibbet Jungle, or the bridge that you build, and then if you hit the pier right back there on that bridge, uh, you will hit a point where you will get soft locked as of right now. So until they get that fixed, don't do it. So there are ways to skip this level, but we're not going to do that. We're not about that life. We're going to come up here with our guns. Bring guns. Take these guys out. All right, moving forward. Don't die to that. You'll get real mad at yourself. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Okay. Run, 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 run. We're gonna hop up here. Once we start moving up, we're gonna get a gunner right over here. We're gonna get a jugger right back there. Once you take out one of the two, you are going to spawn everything else. So what I found to be really easy is to just pop this gunner in the foot or something first, and that's gonna knock him behind the boat where he can't see you, and then take out the jugger. That way you don't have to worry about the jugger while all these bottlers spawn in. So I'm gonna hop up here and attempt to do that. I'm stuck. Pop him back, take him out, and there you go. Woo, I tried to hide behind this post and I got stuck. Use the post as cover. Poke our head out. Take him out. Okay. Easy peasy. Got it. We're going to grab an extra gun just because we need all the guns we can get. Because there's a way to skip this part, but we're not going to. We're going to do it right. We're going to hop down here. I ain't even worried about the, the pieces. I'll come back for them. I don't know why the floor keeps disappearing like that, but it does. All right, so once we go up this ladder here, we're gonna get a couple guys spawning over here. I'm gonna run to this cannon, get my gun set up, get my cannon set up. I'm gonna try and kill as many as I can with this cannon and be ready to grab those. I'm gonna get it lined up because there's gonna be a gunner over there and I want him gone. Once that happens, I'm moving. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to keep moving nonstop. I don't want to stand still for more than a quarter second at any time. And there you go. Once you start spawning in these gunners here, just do not stop. Keep moving at all costs. Now we're going to come back and grab the pieces. Because these will despawn. So if that takes you more than a few seconds and you throw your pieces on the ground so that you can deal with everything that's trying to kill you, they will despawn and you'll have to go back and get them anyway, so, you know. Alright. Grab me a couple guns. Go throw these over here. I'm actually going to throw those down there for two seconds and go grab me some more guns because Ghost Beard is difficult. Well, actually, the fight's not really bad. If you've watched Rocco's tutorial right here, if I can put it here with editing magic, check it out. He shows you how to get Ghost Beard three hits, one go. Super easy, super awesome. If you can do that, it's going to make this boss fight so much easier. So we're going to go ahead. So what you can do is they're not going to aggro on you until you start scooting up. Uh, you can hop down here, start grabbing a bunch of these guns, throw them up on the bleachers, and move your way in that way. I think that's probably the easiest. Ghost Spirit is not going to spawn until you kill the very last en enemy, but that does not include the two cannoneers. So you can kill everything, have both the cannoneers on the boat, and Ghost Spirit will spawn, which is a bad situation to be in. So you're going to want to take them out. So I'm going to scoot up here. I'm going to start throwing some guns up top here because this is just going to be so much easier for me. And then I'm going to use these stalagmite stalactite stalag something to block my all these shots and you can do this with as many guns as you want once you start getting a little bit closer i think they're more likely to get aggroed i really don't know where the the aggro line is let's find out you're gonna aggro fall yep yeah, okay so once you go to the, the further boxes away they're going to start getting aggroed but right here's a pretty good place that jugger can't get you i do want to take out that cannoneer just because i don't like him 
Uh, this cannoneer can probably hit you, so you don't want to get him too close. But we're going to get a bunch bottled up over here. Um, it's going to get really rough. This is a lot of poking out, trying to hit the, the pistol ears before anything. So we're going to start doing that. Take him out. There's a bottle thrower, like, super close. Take him out. And then try and alternate. Go out this side, then sneak out this side. And I go back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm not even going to worry about him because I want to make sure that I have a chance to get to that cannon while Ghost Spirit is spawning him. And we're just going to kind of bounce back and forth, taking out as many as we can. Okay, I think we got him. I think there may be another spawn once we get on the ship or closer to the ship. I think we kind of bypassed it going this way. We'll find out together. But I'm going to get a bunch of guns up on the ship because there will be a lot of enemies spawning and you don't you know, necessarily want to deal with all that. Okay, we did get him. Awesome. So, we're going to take him out. We're going to get ready for the fight. Nobody leaves this I didn't want to do that. Gonna try and take him out real quick. Hopefully you can. If you don't, it's all good, man. It's all good. We got him. All right. So we're gonna take these guys out. We're gonna run over here. We're gonna set this cannon up. You can set this cannon up. Set the torch right there. Set it like that, and it will keep going. Just don't walk over there and get yourself killed. So now all you really have to do is get you some uh, some swords and be ready for this side. And don't aim too low and hit the front of the boat there. That's going to be really bad. If you don't hit Ghost Beard, oh, it respawned. That was fast. Uh oh, I don't have a gun. I don't have anything. All right. Well, if you don't kill Ghost Beard in one try, or you get stuck in this position, just fall back in here with a couple swords. And just let him come to you. It's all good. Just have this left sword. I hold it out. That's blocking at all times. Don't let your other hand go beyond your sword because they will hit you. They will kill you and you will be sad. Alright, there we go. And once you get down to the last few, it'll just kind of end. And, you know, that's pretty much it. We escaped with zero gold. Awesome. Weekly challenge. Hey, I got a weekly out of this. Sweet. Streaming cam on. Use. All right. Well, that's not. That's, yeah. that's good. That's good. Okay. Anyways, guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, like I said, I've said it several times, this is the one quest that it's really difficult Ready to start. just kind of fall back and let everything come to you because your weapons constantly break. So it makes it really, really difficult. You're going to have to keep moving. Um, fortunately, with the checkpoint system, you can continue to do levels over and over, get a little bit of practice at it, get better at it, and it will hopefully make your life a lot easier. But you can do it. I have faith in you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care now. I will block with one sword at all times and I will swing with the other and I will still die because that's how this game works. Back here, this guy can't get you, so. Whoa! What the? What? 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 <laughs>